All right, if you're interested in blogging for your WordPress website, I will walk you through the process here. So I'm logged in to the site. Here's the dashboard on the left. I will go to posts and I could shortcut right there to add new. We'll give the post a title. I'll move that little block. First blog post. I can begin writing here in this open white area, and then you'll see some very responsive controls. I hovered on that particular text. I could highlight it. I could change the alignment. I can reposition one block from another. Oh, I seen it down. There we go. Um, Oh yeah, so it went down below the other one. I clicked off so I could see a little bit better. Now, right here in the center are opportunities to add new blocks. And these blocks can include things like images, quotes, audio files. It can, it can, can get really, really detailed and precise. Primarily, I know most people will be using images and text. And so I selected an image. I can choose from the media library, which means files that have already been uploaded into the site, or I can upload a new file, or I can actually choose an image from the web by inserting a complete URL there. So I'm going to choose something from the media library in this case. Let's choose this image of this young man here, handsome guy and then that image was inserted in. I have an opportunity to write a direct caption for that image. I can, I can perform edits on any block by selecting the block and then working with my options over here. I can make this image a little bit smaller. And center this image. Here's, a, here's an, another workspace here. So I'm, I clicked on the image. And I, so, bring that in. so you can see the images can get a little complex, partially because uh, based on their orientation. So now this image covers the full width, but it's a little bit long. There are actually ways you can edit the image and. Um, I could. Oh, there we go. I can drag. So this is part of blogging is using um, H1, H2 tags to designate headers and subheaders. There, I can uh, choose heading there, and it's going to give me the option of what type of heading. So I chose H1, or uh, sorry, H2, which is the largest subheading. I'm just going to leave this block. So now I've got a blog title. I'll change my name. Now I've got a subtitle here. Text. Oh. An image with a caption, and I can preview this. I'll go ahead and publish this. I can also, you can also unpublish, which is good. So this post has been published. Uh, I'm gonna double click and open up a link in a new tab so I'm keeping this tab open 
I'm going to see what the blog post looks like on a single blog post page. So that's if someone clicks on this exact blog post to read it in its fullness. This is what they see. There's a title. It's the subtitle made. Text. There's the image. Someone can leave a reply and comment, and there, of course, all there's uh, an amazing you know, advanced level, all kinds of additional elements that can be added on the blogs that you would see around the web. But this is a very good look at a at a um, at a simple dra draft of a blog post. So now I went to the homepage of the site, and because I have a blog area on the homepage blog post is going to appear here. Oh, I should see that featured image. Oh, that's an oversight. So, I, you might recall I inserted this image right into the blog post, but what I didn't do was choose a um, I didn't choose a featured image. And a featured image is what will show up right here. So the featured image could actually be different than than this image here at the beginning of the blog post. The featured image is essentially a thumbnail. So now I'm back in the blog post. I have clicked properly to ensure this primary menu has appeared here on the right. I'm going to go to featured image. I'm going to set featured image. And then I'm going to choose an image that's actually different. Um, I'm actually going to do this alternate text. It's good for SEO if the blog, if the image doesn't appear for some reason, that text will at least be read and appear by the search engine. Updating the blog post. Now the single post view won't change because I, I added a thumbnail, but this was still a, this is still the first image inside within the blog post. But now this blog post display area will change. So there's the, the featured image, and it's cutting off part of my You can see in this image, I'm going to click to edit this image a little bit. You can see there's quite a bit of wasted floor space there. I'm going to look at editing this. I'm going to zoom in to I'm going to essentially reduce the dimension and make this a little more usable. That cropped right in, removed all the unnecessary space around that image. Again, you see how this can become a little more complex as you work with different images and sizes, but I'm trying to get the the, um, the speech therapist image to appear there. You see, it's this log display area is formatted to show an image of a certain a uh, certain uh, dimension so I don't have that full solution yet I might honestly might just need to choose a different image it displays a little differently so this section is designed to show three blog posts the most recent three blog posts will appear here on the home page providing someone an opportunity to click in to read more on the single post page where the full blog post will be displayed and then if somebody clicks blog here, and then we'll see a list of all of the blog posts that have been made. So let's go back to the dashboard. I clicked post, now it's going to show me all the blog posts. So first blog post, that's what we just made. It is published right now, but let's do a quick edit. 
and unpublish it because we're not ready to have that be live. So that I'm gonna put that back, change the status back to draft. There, there it is, see that? Dash draft, that means that this is a blog post that is saved within the system here but is not displayed publicly. So nothing should appear here now. On our blog, it's blank. On that page, it wouldn't appear at all. And then um, this, let's go to the home page, and then there should be no blog post displayed right now in the blog section. It's ready for three blog posts. Nothing there because there are no live blog posts. These are all in draft stages. So you can add a new one. You can edit one of these existing. Quick edit can change the status quickly and it doesn't require page load. So this is a quick walkthrough on blogging. Thanks so much. God bless.